Have you ever been frustrated on how to sign into your Microsoft 365 business account? Well, in today's video, we're going to be going through how to sign into your Microsoft 365 account and more importantly, how to set up that two-factor authentication app on your mobile phone. So let's jump on the PC and get started. So first, what we need to do is get, jump on our PC and head over to login.microsoftonline.com. And you'll be greeted with this screen. So we just put in our username. And hopefully your IT administrator would have given you a temporary password. So we're gonna pop that in. And you'll be greeted with this message. Now, what this message is telling us is that Microsoft would like to keep your account safe. And that's normally done by two-factor authentication. So the first thing we need to do is click on next. And you'll be greeted with this. Now, what you should do is before getting to this stage, we always advise setting up that two-factor authentication on your mobile device. So what you should do is get your mobile phone, go to the app store and download this app. Once you've downloaded this app, you'll be ready to rock and roll. So let's click on next and then next again. And you'll be greeted with this QR code. So all you now need to do is to open that app on your mobile phone and you see a symbol at the bottom right of the screen uh, that allows you to scan a QR code. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And what I can now do is use my mobile phone to scan that QR code. So I've just scanned that QR code and I've added it to my Microsoft 365 two-factor authentication app. It's as simple as that. Now, all I've got to do now is click on next and straight away, it's prompted me now to enter the code that's on my screen. So on my screen, I've got a, a code. This is a two-factor code. So I just type that in on my screen here and I'm now done. So I've now set up the two-factor authentication on my mobile device. So I can now click on next. And the next thing it's gonna do, it's gonna say, well, let's set up another method of two-factor authentication, just in case that you lose your mobile phone or you can't use your phone for whatever reason. So what I can do is go in here, look for United Kingdom, and then I can pop my mobile phone number in here. Alternatively, you could choose this, I want to use a different method. And you can see here, it's giving us a couple of choices. So it's got my hardware token, phone, or email. So if we click email, we can now set up an email account. So I'm gonna put in a, an alternate email address just so that we can do that. I'm clicking on next. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the code from there. I've got my code, pop it in, and then click on next. Okay, so that I'm all done. That is now my two-factor authentication now set up. So if I click on done, and now I'm in. Now, most people will think that's where the journey ends. The next thing you need to do is, of course, reset your password because your administrator would have given you a temporary password. So we're gonna click on the user and we're gonna go to my account and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and change the password. Now, remember, we have set up two-factor authentication. So the first thing it's gonna ask me to do is to authenticate who I am. I am, after all, changing the password. So let me go ahead and authenticate who I am. And now I can enter a new password. So once I've entered that new password and clicked on submit, all my security information will have now been changed. So I've now got a brand new password. I have my two-factor authentication set up both on my mobile phone and via an alternate email, and I'm good to go. So there you go. I have set up my new user account and I'm able to log in. I've got my two-factor authentication set up for my app and by email, and I'm good to go. So hopefully you found that video useful. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.